joined us and starting up now. Besides the huge group on IPO that we saw last week, there have also been a bunch of other developments in the startup world, and our very own Davina Munro is here then to fill you in. Thanks, Tanya. Welcome to the news. We in this segment where we bring you up to speed with all the news and developments in the startup community, both in India and overseas. Now, some funding news coming in from the e-commerce space. Delhi-based Valley Technologies has raised $4 million in funding for Guess What, a group of e-commerce sites, Lenscart, Watchcart, and Badscart.com. Now, the strange thing is that Valley Technologies used to run a campus classified portal called SearchMyCampus.com. I don't quite see the connection between campus classified and niche e-commerce, but clearly IDGs were made the investment can. So is this a good investment or just a part of the herd investment phenomena right now in e-commerce? Well, we just have to wait and find out. Now with firsttry.com and babyoi.com, we have seen the sudden attention that the baby product space is getting. And the newest addition to the list is Kupos.com, who has raised funds from Helion Venture Partners. With me, I have Sanjeev Agarwal, the co-founder of Helion. Sanjeev, welcome to the show. Tell us, Sanjeev, what exactly caught your attention about Kupos.com and what are the factors that led to this investment? Davina, one factor which caught our attention was the fact that the Hoopos team was already running physical children's stores uh, under the brand name of Apple of My Eye and they had a lot of experience of dealing with retailing baby products and we were able to pair them with a technology team uh, which knows how to take a business uh, online. So I think this combination of offline and online uh, backed with a strong uh, category which has scale and size and growth uh, led us uh, to doing this transaction with Kupos. Great to hear us Sanjeev and thank you so much for joining us. Moving on to the global market, now one startup that has caught the eye is Silicon Valley based InfoAct.com. InfoAct started off as a social bookmarking search which led to it becoming a search engine based on what people were bookmarking and now it's evolved into the Flipora which has come upon like discovery search engine that carves out the best of the web depending on your interest. With me I have Jonathan Siddharth, the co-founder of InfoAct. Jonathan, welcome to the show. Give us a sneak peek into what Flipora is all about and tell us what is the road ahead for you guys from here. Flipora recommends where you should go next. Information consumption on the web primarily follows the pull paradigm or the push paradigm. The pull paradigm is Google, you tell the search engine what you want and get it, you get the relevant results. In the push paradigm, you don't tell us what you want, but we push relevant uh, websites to you that you might find interesting based on all our uh, data that we have about you. And uh, that is where uh, Sephora is heading. Fantastic, Johnson. Thank you so much for that. And with the Groupon IPO finally taking place, it brings its valuation up to $15 billion. Well, it's been a huge week for the startup community internationally. Stay tuned to get the latest because remember, if there's a startup that's making news, it's on the news with you. That's it from all of us then. Before we go, a quick update on our Super Angel series. Our angels are hard at work looking, of course, to shortlist eight finalists, all leading to a grand finale. We will give you details real soon. But in the meantime, don't forget, you can write into us on starting up at etnow.tv. Send us an SMS or simply find us on Facebook. We'll say goodbye, but before we go, as we say every week, remember, there's never a better time than now to go out there and start up.